Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be putting some fish plates on this brush hog, bush hog, which is it brush or bush? I always call it brush hog, but anyway, we're gonna be putting some fish plates right here because there's a crack in this piece of channel right here. So we're gonna be putting a fish plate here and a fish plate on the other side just to prevent it from cracking in the future. This particular deal I need to get done. If you follow along regularly, you know that this has been up here because I talked about it in a previous video, but you may not know that it's been on this table for way too long. So I just need to finish it up because I actually need this table that's underneath the brush hog to build some wooden shelves for the Aros Welding shop. I don't think we've mentioned it yet, but Kayla actually purchased some different shelving for the Aros Welding store right over here, store slash warehouse where we ship out of. If you order anything from the Aros Welding store, it comes from right over here in the shop and we ship it to you personally, us or anybody that's working for us. Right now we do have a lady helping us in the store. Her name is Jody. She has been amazing and super helpful this year. We truly appreciate your help this year, Jody. You've been a lifesaver. Let's actually go take a look inside the shop for those of you that have never seen it, but for those of you that have, let's take a look at the new shelving, a couple new products that we carry, and the new layout. Everything you're about to see is on sale. We've got a store-wide sale going on until November 29th. That way you can get a good deal for your holiday shopping needs. All right. Here it is. It's still kind of a mess. It's a work in progress. Kayla would probably actually kill me if she knew I was showing you this while it wasn't more tidied up. I did do some tidying, but it's still, it's kind of a mess. Anyway, here it is. That's the new shelving. We'll get a better look at that here in a minute. But this here is our temporary situation for all of our stickers. Kayla plans on building a wall right here to kind of cap the end of these shelves. And then a couple of other things, I'm not sure what she plans on doing, but these stickers are not gonna live here. They're gonna live somewhere else. We're gonna build something custom for the stickers. I just wanted you to see the assortment of stickers that we carry and where they actually come from whenever you order them. We literally come over here and pull them right out of here, put them in one of these guys. And then they get sent over there and get boxed, weighed, and labeled and whatnot. Beforehand, it looked like this. And we're super thankful for Dakota and Jody for helping us change everything out. We had to walk around the shipping table and it just wasn't very efficient. And all the old shelving took up more room than the new shelving that you see here. And now Kayla has designed this situation where it's just all one. You start down there and move all the way down here and we don't have to walk around the shipping table. It's way more efficient, way more enjoyable. And those shelves that I talk about are gonna go right down here, just some extra storage space here at the end of our shipping table situation. So we've got the shipping area, we've got the little festivities, little holiday cheer that Kayla's got going on here. Love it. And then this other countertop is work area. And then on this end, we have like a break room area fridge, storage underneath the fridge, storage above the fridge, counter. Kayla plans on fixing all this up, coffee pot. I don't know what else, but it's a work in progress. It feels good to kind of change it up in here. And the whole idea is just to maximize this space, which we're definitely doing. And it's still not enough room, but slow and steady. You know what I mean? It's safe to say we need a bigger space, but uh, maybe, maybe next year. That's the goal. Here are a few of the products, the Circle Burner, the Blue Book. Not all of the products that you get when you order come in a bag, but a lot of them do. But I pulled them out, that way you can see what's what's in the, it's all labeled, but you can't see the products. So I pulled them out, Circle Burner, we got the extension, Aeros Welding t-shirt, Aeros Welding hoodie, and we got SA200 shirt that I'm wearing, but in a different color. Come on t-shirt. Then we've got an assortment of metal puzzles that make great gift ideas. I've never tried to work this one out, but I would love to because it looks super complicated. We got some candles. Up here we've got the OG, the original Aros welding brand. There's literally only like three or four of these left. This is the original logo that I made back long before I started pipeline welding. I still like that logo, but see it's a piece of pipe. Boy, I like it. But anyway, got learn something every day hat. New product in the store, iron laces. Love them, super, super durable. Again, another great gift idea, in my opinion. Can't weld without coffee mug. We got our soapstone. This is the 120 count. 
This is the brass soapstone holder that the soapstone fits in. 120 count, we do have a 50 count, an 11 count, and a four count. And then right behind us, we have all the welding shirts. I laid one out so you could see it. Brass snaps is all we have in stock right now, but we should have plenty in stock now for those of you that have been waiting on welding shirts to come back in. But when you order your shirt, it does come packaged in one of these sacks. Jody actually just finished those the other day, so heck of a job, Jody. Thank you for that. What else? I know I'm forgetting a few things. I did want to share this with you. These are book darts. Absolutely cool. Little did I know how cool they were till Caleb was like, hey, you need to try these. Sure enough, super sleek. I got them in my blue book marking my 12 on 12 branch test because that's a common, common test we take on pipeline, but super slick book darts grinder holder that fits over a jack stand head again in my opinion a good gift idea what else i know there's a couple more things fab table is in that box those boxes there fab table that you may have seen me use in videos in the past right here we've got several industrial tradition products some hoodies some t-shirts for those of you that have been around since the start of industrial tradition you know about all this that I'm talking about. Uh, this is where we carry the industrial tradition leather patch hats. I believe there's some on my website, or there was at some point, but if there's not any on my website, arosfolding.com, you should be able to find these leather patch hats at industrialtradition.com. And here are some heavy duty clothes pins that Kayla carries in the industrial tradition shop. For those of you that are looking for a gift for your mom, grandma, anyone else that hang dries clothing anyway there's a little sneak peek into the a ross welding shop slash industrial tradition shop i hope it gives you some more gift ideas for this holiday season and i want to thank everyone i want to thank you for your support every order that you've put in if you're a returning customer if you're a new customer we thank you so much for your support we could not be building the store without you so thank you we hope you're having an awesome thanksgiving weekend all that to say is there's a little area of shelving that needs to be built and I need this table to do that. And this project has been here too long anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and finish it up today. All right, so I've already got the plates cut to length and everything. I decided just to use a quarter inch thick by two inch piece of flat, 12 inches long. Got my holes drilled in here already. But one thing I wanna do to these plates before we weld them on is I wanna trim off the, the corners. I'm gonna make like this and like this, that way whenever we weld these ends, we're not welding straight across the face of that channel. We're welding at an angle here and an angle here. That's just to help with the uh, integrity of the channel to less chance of weakening the, the channel that we're welding these to. So. All right, now that we got our corners cut off our plates, I'm gonna cut this existing fish plate off. They put a uh, fish plate for this hole right here, but the plate that we're gonna put on is gonna serve the same purpose here. So to make everything nice and seamless, I'm just gonna cut this off, put our new plate on. Anyway, this here is a straight torch and we've got a scarfing tip. I learned about this straight torch whenever I was working on drilling rigs from them guys that I worked with. And uh, not only is it handy for scarfing because you got a straight, barrel right here versus the 90 degree like a traditional torch because you can just get into areas a lot a lot easier like i am here but also this straight torch is handy 
for the circle burner that we carry in the A-Ross welding store. It is a pricey attachment. We do not carry them in the A-Ross welding store yet, but there are part numbers on our website under the description of the circle burner, or you can text the word torch to my community text number 405-643-7176, and I will send you a list of the part numbers. That way you can find this attachment here for whichever torch that you have, small or large. Or if you have any other questions about this setup here, you can text them to that number and I will do my best to answer your questions. A done deal. Let her cool off, tap her off with a hammer or wedge, do a little grinding, do a little welling, and then weld our fish plates on. That scarfing tip is supposed to allow you to cut welds out kind of like we just did here without getting into the to the metal that you don't want to cut, which in this case is that red three inch channel. So the idea is just to wash the wash the weld away and not get into your base metal kind of like art gouging. We ought to be able to just take a hammer, or fish plate, whatever, and just tap that off there like so. All right, now that we got her all cleaned up, all the paint grinded off and whatnot, we're gonna weld this crack up real quick with some 332, 70, 18. Using the old TIG 200 set on 85. Come on, I'm always tempted to use my machine because it welds a little better, but this machine is better for, for YouTube. It's quieter, a little a little quieter. Go turn her down just a skosh. Well, we got the full penetration. <laughs> A little weld up here, should have done this first, truly really and truly. seal up and then we'll grind it all down.
talking about room for improvement. That right there is what I'd like to get better at. That little overhead, overhead slash 45 slash angle that you can't get to. I was angled in like this and really whenever I'm traveling uphill I like my rod to be pointing up a little bit. But that's, I mean, that's what you get. It's ugly whenever you're well, you're still learning, you know, 15 years of experience and I'm still, still learning. So that's what I mean by it. always, always, always room for improvement. It's ugly, but it's a good job to practice on. Oh, come on, man. Shoot far. And here comes my favorite part, the rod stub hitting the rod bucket. And here it is a couple days later. We can tell it's been a couple days due to the rust that's on here. This weld down here was a booger. Like I said, constantly learning. It would have worked for something like this, but it didn't look very good. So I went ahead and took a 8010 and just put along the top there just to make it look a little better. Not that it really matters on a project like this. This weld over here did go a little bit better, but I still done the same thing on the top here just to make it look a little better. But like I said, that's that's why I enjoy what I do because no matter how long I've been doing it, I, there's always still something that's a challenge. So just within this project itself, from this weld to this weld, it's safe to say that I progressed a little bit and I learned something and I got a little bit better. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have an awesome Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks again for your support. Don't forget the sale in the A-Ross Welding store will be going on until November 29th. Lastly, like I said, if you have any questions about the straight torch or the circle burner, you can text me at 405-643-7176 and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Have an awesome weekend and remember, learn something every day. Tell them happy Thanksgiving. Karen, tell them, don't be rude. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Oh, and I about forgot, stay hydrated with plenty of coffee this winter. <laughs>